This whole thing, it almost feels like a situation where it's like, it's this girl that you're talking to. Y'all been talking for a long time, and you interested in her. You think she's interested in you, too, because y'all been having a lot of dialogue back and forth for months. Late night phone conversations, FaceTime, all that good stuff. But then, when it's time to make something official, she's like, ah, you know what? <sighs> I'm going to go in another direction. I don't know. Sorry to, to, to start off like that, but that's where it feels like it's headed to me. I don't know. Because the Ravens, they have been linked with Odell Beckham Jr. since like before the end of this past season. It's always been like, oh, Ravens, they conversating with Odell Beckham Jr. Ravens keeping tabs on Odell Beckham Jr. Ravens interested in Odell Beckham Jr. Ravens going to talk to Odell Beckham Jr. It's always been something. When he had his workout a couple of weeks ago, Ravens were one of the teams that were there. Now, there was a bunch of other teams there too, but Ravens were there. So when it comes to Odell, like, hey, I would be for it. I'd be cool with it, but I just, I'm not counting on it happening. It would be cool, and it'd be nice to get a healthy Odell, nice cleaned up Odell, because, again, when he had his surgery in Cleveland, apparently well, it wasn't all the way clean. They didn't do a good job, but then he had the second one recently, and they apparently had to fix the first one and then work on whatever else was going on up in there, but now he should be good to go. Uh, so we'll see. But, like, one, one bright spot about this whole thing is that nobody signed them yet. So, the Ravens have an opportunity. They still in the runnings, I guess. But anyway, let's get to the report. We're doing all this talking. We didn't even get to the report yet. It came from Josina Anderson, who has been on everything Odell Beckham Jr. And everything Baltimore Ravens, too. And Josina Anderson, she handles herself with so much class. She's never messy with anything. She asks the right questions. She asks the, the straightforward questions, but she keeps it respectful all at the same time. Not everybody can do that. Not all reporters can do that. Not everybody can keep it classy. Not everybody can keep it respectful. So shout out to Josina Anderson. But anyway, um, she said, I'm told free agent wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. has arrived at the Biltmore uh, with plans to talk to at least the Ravens per him. So she talked directly to him. Now, when she first put the Biltmore, I was like, hold it, did you, you spelled Baltimore wrong. I know that both words are close, but there was no accident. That, that's the hotel that all of them are staying in. So Odell Beckham Jr., like, hey, look, all, all the teams, and I'm sure he's going to talk to other people too. I don't think this is just going to be an exclusive Ravens conversation. It ain't like he's going to go there, all right, let me, let me go. And he's been training in Arizona, so he's close, but it ain't like he's going to be like, all right, let me go talk to Ravens. Okay, bye, I'm leaving now. No, man. Odell trying to, he trying to set that market. He trying to see what his market is, man. So he's going to be talking to some other people too, I'm sure. But, hey, Ravens involved, cool. Cool. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's see if they can make something happen, if they can get something done. You know what? While we were talking about this, I had completely forgot that they signed Nelson Aguilar. I completely forgot about that. I, I, like, I just remember that just now while we were recording this video. So I don't know, man. I, I don't even <laughs> really know what to think about this whole thing. I'm not going to get, oh, yeah, who the hell am I going to do you? Like, because I just, we've seen this a lot, man. Not for this long. Not for these long periods of time where they've been talking to somebody for this long. But we've seen this a lot. Ravens interested. Ravens talking. And it ended up not going through. So, and again, with the with their quarterback situation, that is one thing that that's, is so big. Like, that's huge. Odell Beckham Jr. don't know who's going to be throwing on the ball if he were to go to the Ravens. Again, Nelson Aguilar, I told you. Nelson Aguilar was like, hey, cut the check. Odell Beckham Jr. like, well, hold up there, buddy. Wait a minute. So, Ravens got to see. But the longer this whole thing goes on with Lamar Jackson, the, the longer that bigger name free agents, both offense and possibly defense too, but certainly on offense, they may be hesitant and may be like, oh, you know what? Mm-hmm. Get back to me, Ravens. We, 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 we could talk later. Oh, you know what? Let me go look at my other options, and, and we could talk later. And then I think with the uncertainty right now, it, it's, it's, it's such, such a tricky situation because with the uncertainty with Lamar Jackson right now, I feel like it would make Ravens, like for them to really get somebody, I feel like they would have to actually pay a little bit more. But we know they're not going to do that. Unless Nelson Aguilar has some other offers that were a little lower than the Ravens, and the Ravens just had to lock them up, but... I feel like it will make them have to pay a little bit more just because it's like, hey, we don't know what's happening with our quarterback, but we still want you. Uh, we, we'll cut a couple more million dollars than we normally would. Just my thoughts. So anyway, we'll see what happens with Odell Beckham Jr., if anything, and we'll go from there. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss not one video because there's always something going on. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. 
We out.